Hey, hey everybody, Shavo here, and we're going to do the Protoss challenge called Path of Ascension. And this is going to be the first round, and we are going to face off against a lot of Marauders, bunch of Marines, and some Hellions. So against the Hellions, you want to put your Stalkers there, because they have Blink, and Hellions don't do a lot of damage against Stalkers. Against the Marines, you want to have about four of your Colossi go over there with your Sentry, so you can use the Force Field ability. And then for the Marauders, you want to have one Colossus, and then all of your Zealots, because they do have the Zealot legs, and have them take those out. So let's go ahead and move everything in, in place here. So you got your Col or your Stalkers moving up over here. I'm going to take four of my Colossi, move them over here, and I'm going to move my Sentry over there as soon as I figure out that my Sentry is not with my other Colossi. He's just kind of going with the group over there. So move them over here. Get your Colossus over here with a whole bunch of Zealots, and that will be that. So let's start it out. So with this one, it's not too difficult. You just kind of want to do some Blink Micro when you have a Stalker that's a little bit low. And as you can see, I was doing a little bit of Blink Micro there. It's not too difficult. Kind of move this guy back. That's pretty much that. Didn't lose any units, so not too bad. And on this one, you want to use your sentry first and do force fields all around here. There you go, and then just move in your colossi and just watch the marine carnage. And there you go. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. You're going to lose a couple of zealots because the marauders are going to focus fire down a few, but that's pretty much all you can do. You can try and mi micro them back as best you can, but it's not going to work too much. So, you lost two units, but that's pretty much all you're going to lose, and take everything out. So, that's it for round one. We lost two units. Not too bad. So now let's look at what we got facing against round two. So we've got about 10 Thors, so that is a ton of Thors, a lot of siege tanks, and three battle cruisers. Now this one's a little bit more difficult. So for the tanks, you want to move all of your immortals over here to the tanks. For the Thors, you want to move all of your carriers over to the Thors. And then for the battle cruisers, you want to have your void rays and then your high templar move over here. So let's speed it up, get everything in place. I'm just sitting there looking at what I got, kind of figuring it out. So I'll move all of your immortals over here to the tanks. Move all your carriers over here. And then you take the rest of your guys and move them over here. And the reason you want to take your High Templar over here is to feed back the battle cruisers. So what I did is I kind of put my carriers up on this ridge here just to kind of give them a little bit, try and do a little bit of sight, but that didn't really work out all so well, but you can do however you want. But the thing is you just kind of want to focus down the Thors and then just micro back the carrier that get, that's getting low. Because Thors are really slow to attack, so you have a lot of time between attacks. So all you got to do is just micro the carrier back. Whichever one's getting low, just pull them back. And then when you're ready to pull them back in there, you just kind of push them back in there. And you just pull whichever one's getting hit. And that's pretty much that. So no, no units lost on that one. Pretty good. This one's a little bit more difficult because you can't take them all out at once. They do siege up. So you just got to do whatever you can. So not too bad, I lost two Immortals, so we're still only at four units lost. Now on this one you want to immediately get your High Templar and feedback as many as you can. So I feedback all of them, which brings them to about half health. And then you just want to kind of micro whatever you can as far as the Void Rays. So I didn't micro as fast as I probably should have, and I lost one. But not too bad. Five. Lost five so far, three on that round. So let's go to the third round. So round three, we were up against one battle cruiser and five Vikings, against a bunch of Hellions and Reapers, 
and a bunch of tanks as well as six marauders. So this one's a little bit more difficult. You want to get your four Archon and put them up here along with your High Templar to feed back the Battlecruiser and then take out these Vikings. You want to get your your Phoenix and put them where where the battle and put them over here and then you want to get your Immortals as well and put them over there and then you want to get your Sentry your Stalkers and your Colossi and put them over here to take care of these Hellions and Reapers so let's go ahead and get them all in position and then you have some Zealots over here but you don't really use the Zealots because they're more of just a hindrance than anything so I'm moving my Phoenix over and I'm going to move the rest of my guys over as soon as I figure out what I'm doing. So I'm moving my Archons as well as my High Templar over there. Taking my Immortals and putting them over here. And then I'm going to move the rest of my guys and just kind of keep them over here. And these Zealots, they have absolutely no use in this round. So like I said, they are more of a hindrance than anything. So you can just put them wherever you prefer because you're not going to use them whatsoever. So I just kind of keep them in the back so they can chill and do whatever they want, talk about how cool their side blades look. And let's get it started here. I think I started here. I'm kind of, oh yeah, I'm just positioning my Archons. And we're waiting, and here we go. So immediately you want to get your High Templar and immediately feed back the Battlecruiser and just kind of get them over there. And I did do a Psy Storm as well just to kind of soften them up. And he was an idiot and he kind of moved over there, but I was able to micro him back. And that's that. Not too bad. So let's take a look at this one. This one's pretty much the same as the mass marines in that you just want to do a whole bunch of force fields. I, did, I didn't do very well force field placement there, so you should probably stand to do a little bit better, but it was alright to take this out. As you can see, I didn't lose any units on that one, so we're still doing good. We're at five total losses. And here we go. You want to use your Phoenix to pick up as many tanks as you possibly can, and then just have your Immortals take out whatever they can as well. So I'm picking up all the tanks that I can with these Immortals, or with the Phoenixes. I mistakenly pulled all of them back, which kind of cost me one Immortal. And then just pick as many as you up, as many as you can up. As soon as they drop down, they will be taken out rather quickly. And that's pretty much that. So that is the Path of Ascension, 7 total loss. So that's not too bad at all. So I hope this helped you out, and let's go on to the next one.